Hey there, Captain Whitebeard here, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Fediverse. So, with Twitter kicking a lot of people off of their platform, along with Facebook and other sorts of social media places like that, where common people like ourselves can have their voices heard and interact with people, with them just banning people for increasingly ridiculous reasons, it's really important to have a good alternative. Now, there have been a few that have popped up over the years. Uh, most of them have not been successful, obviously. And when they do get successful, like Parler did, then you see companies working together to try and strangle them so that they can't actually get a foothold. So the people who get silenced by mainstream social media sources are not able to really move on to another platform a lot of the times. Because in the case of Parler, First, they have their app uh, removed from the official Google Play Store. You can still get it on other Play Stores, though, that are not owned by Google, because you're allowed to install other Play Stores. There have been lawsuits about that, and uh, Google lost. So, yeah, if you're not already using one of those, in a future video, I will be helping you select one if you so desire. It's always good to have a backup, just in case. You, I personally don't use the Google Play Store at all, but many people have, still have it as a backup. But anyway, back to the topic of the Fediverse. So there have been alternatives like Parler that have come up. So first they were removed from Play Stores. When that didn't remove them from the internet, they had their ability to collect funds uh, crushed by... Um, oh, wait, no, they didn't move to that yet. Okay, so what they ended up having done was their hosts decided they weren't going to host them anymore. And they were trying to move on to other hosts, and they were not able to do that either. Their reasons for being removed by their host, which is Amazon, um, were actually things that Twitter is worse on. I'm not really able to talk about a lot of the really horrendous things here because of algorithmic reasons. But just suffice it to say, there was some bad stuff on Parler. There is a lot more of that same bad stuff on Twitter. In fact, the worst type of that, uh, Twitter is the most common, by far, place for that to show up on the internet. So yes, um, if you find yourself removed by, from Twitter, or you just want to find another place to go before that inevitably happens, because anyone who doesn't fully agree with their um, politics and their messaging will inevitably be removed eventually. They're moving further and further left with that every day. Uh, but yeah, if you'd like an alternative, you can look to Gab right now, of course. Uh, Gab used to be part of the Fediverse, but has since become centralized and unfederated. Now, because of that, Gab could just be shut down the same way Parler was, really. I mean, we've even seen companies just have banks refuse to process payments for them anymore, which will completely starve them out. And, uh, you know, there's just so many ways that Gab could get shut down because they're centralized. The beauty of the Fediverse is that that's nah, not really possible to do. Because, you see, Gab, Parler, Twitter... Those are all websites, right? Fediv the Fediverse is not a website. The Fediverse is... Hmm... I guess you'd kind of say it's closer to being the what you normally would think of as the internet. Um, that's what the Fediverse is. Um, it's a protocol. So your normal web, view web viewing will be on protocols that the normal protocols that websites use right but there are other types of internet that exist such as the usenet um, it uses a different kind of protocol you don't access it through the same kind of web browser I think there might be some places where you can get on the usenet through a regular browser but I'm not really going to get into usenet right now partially because I don't use it um, I'm, I'm sure there are some people around my age that use it but not very many of them. Most of the people who use the Usenet are kind of older folks. But, um, yeah. So, there are things like Usenet. There's also Nutella. 
Now, if you're around my age, you might know about things like LimeWire, Kazaa, um, Napster, things like that, right? Those accessed what was called the Nutella network. Now, Nutella actually still exists because although the owners of LimeWire uh, lost a lawsuit and were shut down, that doesn't actually make the Nutella network disappear because anybody can host a node and that node can have files on it. So because of that, even though there was a lot of really shady, mostly illegal stuff that was on the Nutella network, and nobody could really shut the Nutella network down, and they still can't. Because it's like trying to shut down the entire internet. It's not really super possible. Um, because with most websites, you can just shut down a single website, and it's gone. With the Fediverse, there are a whole lot of different nodes. Now, if you were to shut down a single node, that does not make the Fediverse go away. You would have to completely shut down every single person who is running a Fediverse node, and then keep shutting down anybody who made a new Fediverse node. It is not really viable. It's like trying to shut down torrents. It's just, you're, you're not going to make torrents stop existing as a concept. Okay, so this is a lot of lead up, but now you basically understand why it is that the Fediverse is so resilient against being shut down, all right? So here's the way it works. There will be, there's a lot of different nodes and what you, and the node is like a server. So you can sign up on a node and that will host your account for you. And then you're able to see everything that's posted on that node in your local timeline. You're also able to see everything that's posted on the global timeline. Now the global timeline is any posts that are made by anyone on any node that the owner of your host hasn't blacklisted. So in the in my own case, I'm hosted on the Kiwi Farms' node. So I a lot of the people I interact with actually aren't hosted on the Kiwi Farms. They're hosted on different nodes, but I see the stuff they post in the global timeline. I can also uh, tag them and communicate with them directly or send them a DM. Um, because the Kiwi Farms' node has not blacklisted their nodes. Okay, so this blacklisting is important because say there's a node that almost every, everything on it is spam or there's a lot of things on that node that are illegal. If you run a host, you can decide, okay, I don't want the people who are hosted on my node to be subjected to this, so I'm going to blacklist that node. So things that people post on, who use that node, uh, your users won't see that. So censorship does still exist to a degree, but it's on a completely different scale, right? For one, there's not a centralized power. If you don't like the censorship that's occurring on the node that you're on, you can just sign up on a different node. It's not a big deal. It's pretty easy to do. And if you really feel like it, you can host your own node, which I'm planning on doing eventually. Uh, once I get a chance to get a server tower set up, I'm going to host a Plamora node, and I'm also going to host a Rocket Chat server, which I'll go into that a little bit later in a different video. Because Rocket Chat is also cool. But let's stick to Plamora for now, or rather the Fediverse. So. Now you know why you might desire to use the Fediverse, because you're going to, generally speaking, have a lot more free speech. Um, it's harder to shut the service down, so companies like Twitter and Amazon can't really keep you from accessing it. Um, also, there's not just a single app that you can use to load the Fediverse. You can't just look for the Fediverse mobile app, right? There are You can look for Fediverse mobile app, and you'll find probably a good dozen or so on whatever Play Store you're looking on because it's like grabbing a web browser. What it'll do is browse Fediverse nodes for you, like a web browser browses regular web pages. So you have a lot of options there. Uh, a lot of them have different looks and feels to them. Some of them have their own special features. For Android users, I recommend that if you're mainly going to be using a single account, which honestly most people are, uh, you should probably use one called Husky, because Husky supports both Mastodon and Plumora nodes. Um, I'll get into the difference between those two in a moment, but 
if you're going to be using multiple accounts and you want to just like have have alts that do, are for different things, then you can run uh, Subway Tutor, and so uh, that's T O O T E R, I believe. Um, but yeah, that one is good for managing multiple accounts. But for most for most people, I would recommend Husky. Husky's pretty solid. I haven't really had any problems with it. The look and feel are good, and it does the job. So, if you're going to be using it on PC, then I don't really know about like Windows and Mac, what ones are great, but I know on Linux that Whalebird is really excellent, and I know that Whalebird is also available on Windows and Mac. So, regardless of what operating system you're using, I would probably recommend Whalebird. It looks and feels a lot like Discord, and uh, yeah, it does the job pretty well. I mean, it does everything you need a, a, a Fediverse browser to do. So, but yeah, um, Husky for Android, Whalebird for PCs, and I don't use iPhones, and you honestly probably shouldn't either. Um, Okay, so now let's get down to what is Mastodon and what is Plumora. So for that, I'm going to have to explain a little bit about how web hosting works, right? So normally, normal web servers are going to be on something like Apache, right? And uh, web pages will be written in, say, HTML5, or you might have some web applets that are made using uh, JavaScript instead of HTML5, right? They're competing standards. So regardless of whether a web page is coded in Java or HTML5, most web modern web browsers can show you the website either way. In fact, you might not even know what the website is coded in because it doesn't really matter to you. They both run fine. So that's kind of how it is with Plumora and Mastodon. Um, most Mastodon browser or most uh, Fediverse browsers can access nodes that are either Mastodon or Plumora or a handful of other uh, types of standards. It doesn't usually matter. Um, but yeah, it's basically the equivalent of Java or HTML5. It's the it's the server software that's being used. So for end users, it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, your browser is most likely going to be able to load either one. Husky, I know for a fact, loads both Plumora and Mastodon. So it's a pretty good choice for that. And I know Whalebird does too because it's designed for Mastodon. And my, uh, my host is Plumora, so I know it works on both. Um, so yeah, it doesn't make a huge difference. I have a bit of a preference towards Plumora for complicated reasons that aren't really worth going into for somebody who's just getting into being a user. It mostly matters if you're going to be a host, which I plan to. So, yeah. Um, that's basically the long and the short of it, I suppose. Um, I do highly recommend that you go ahead and download a browser for it. Give it a try. It's all free. Um, there are a lot of free options for host servers. I do actually recommend that you use the Kiwi Farms one. Uh, in my opinion, the community is pretty decent. I mean, they're somewhat edgy. Of course they are. They're the Kiwi Farms. But really, when you get down to it, they're pretty friendly. I mean, they might be a little, a little, a little bit shitlordy towards you if you say something stupid. But I mean, it's mostly in good fun. And if you're not really an asshole, they're not really going to be mean to you. And if you don't put your personal information out there, then you're going to be fine. Just use basic operational security, you know? They're decent people. It's like 4chan. 4chan is actually a pretty nice place, uh, really, when you get down to it. B can be a little bit edgy, but I don't know, man. I used 4chan since I was, like, probably 12, 12 or 14, since pretty early on in its life. But, yeah, that that's basically what it comes down to is... Uh, Use Twitter still if you want to, but you should really try and move towards uh, the Fediverse. And I, my recommendation would be a Plumora node, but Mastodon nodes work just fine. Anyway, if you found this video informative or you liked it, hopefully both, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be posting tech-related videos, meme videos, and other bonus-type content on Saturdays consistently. 
Uh, leave me a comment below if you have any questions about the Fediverse or you have any suggestions on a tech topic you'd like to see me cover. Because, I don't know, man, I'm pretty into tech. I can probably do a video explaining most things that aren't, like, crazy complicated. But yeah, um, uh, that's all I got for now. Have a great day. Peace out.